So I just decided to do a big experiment. Uh, it goes this way, and I was generally trying, just like in Trish Stewart's painting that we're taking our inspiration from, but I've included two photos so that you can um, use these if you prefer. That's a professional photograph, and that's my photograph. Uh, I love this one because it's half blown and it exposes, that's why I especially chose it, it exposes what yeah. is exposed in the um, painting. So you can do an exact copy of it if you want to, or you can just take it as inspiration and do whatever you want in your painting. So I was thinking about the fact that there's a semicircle and a semicircle. So I was attempting a semicircle and a semicircle. You'll need a little container if you want to take all bits and pieces that I've got here. I began to, when I was doing these backgrounds all the time, I began to collect up the rice and collect up the <laughs> Uh, crystals and and begin to reuse them so don't worry about those if you're into recycling you can this is urea does anyone know what it is fertilizer yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Shirley's number 17 is it fertilizer <laughs> 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 this is just table salt and I've, I've got plenty oh, of that quite, <laughs> this is <laughs> rice if I didn't use rice on this but you could um, so I have lots of these um, shellac flakes. That's what these ones are here. It's golden liquid that you can coat on. I used it in printmaking all the time. Yeah, varnish is the word. Yeah, and I used to varnish all my cardboards so that they would be able to handle all the printing that I then did because it stops anything penetrating. But I just sprinkled it on because I've got it and I thought I wonder if it's... But has it done anything at all? I, I carried this in very carefully so you could see. So I think it has left slight marks. Perhaps there's a little bit of, actually possibly a little bit of colour that it's put down. I think the um, urea though was fantastic. And what did you do these with? Yeah, that was, yeah, I can see that's urea because of those big circles. I reckon that was probably sitting there. James Corbin. Yeah. Oh, it's crystals, yeah. in Rock, fact. Rock salt. Oh. Yeah. So this, over here, it looks like there's just um, urea, and it's done something absolutely fabulous. But if you want to do just what Trish Adam, Trish Stewart, sorry, has done, I suspect it's just fine salt. So if you just want fine salt, there's plenty of just fine table salt, but I bought in other stuff. So in case you want to play on the first one and see uh, what oh, it's... That all goes on when it's wet. Yes, yeah. and that's what I'm going all to demonstrate. All, and yeah, and whichever bits. What, what does the rice do? Does, does it soak up water as well? Yeah, yeah, and makes a little fine mark. Okay. Oh. It's an interesting little mark that it does, does it and it's fine? exactly the shape does it matter what of the sort grain. Of rice? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you want low, yeah. your long grain would yes. make it Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Arborio, risotto rice. I haven't <laughs> tried that before. <laughs> that soaks up the liquid. Yeah, it? sure does. <laughs> I wonder if that would be better oh. to show you how I did that. I'm going to suggest you use a really nice piece of paper. You, whether you tape it down or not is up to you. I find taping down, I love the taping down process. I'm going to tape it over there because then I'm going to turn it on this angle later on when I'm painting it. I also find that the tape is great for transport. So um, it will what's the colour range you use there? Rose meadow is it? Or, uh, yeah, so in her painting she's got a oh, red yeah. and a yellow and a green yeah. and a... Maybe. Yeah, that's right. And, and she's applied it in a very artistic way and I was just attempt... I just got out a pink and a green yeah. and then I switched to cascade green actually because the green I had wasn't doing anything. So that's, you can see that um, is what Cascade Green does. It does those, it doesn't really mix. It's doing beautiful things. That's one of those Daniel Smith colors. Um, but the um, urea has pushed this paint out and created, yeah, so if you like it, that's good. But if you don't like it, you might want to go with salt. But you know, 
it's also random, isn't it, what it actually yes. will do on your paper, your um, paint, all that kind of stuff. I'll go over and wander later and choose. You want to choose in advance. I have to go on wet, doesn't it? Like, that's straight away. Down. Yeah. Wet, wet. Yeah, so you want it sitting there ready to go. So I'm going to play with the rice. So I'm going to have some of that and play with that salt. And I'm not sure that the shellacs did much. Okay. I enjoyed putting it on there, <laughs> but that's about all. And then I'm going to do that. So I've got three. And that will do. And then big wash and put the colours on, whichever colours you think would be beautiful as a um, background. <coughs> I didn't use any blues, but in this one I think I will. So I've got a blue, oh, and I'm going to throw in some red, so one more colour. And there's plenty there. And this is um, that magenta. And it, look how beautifully it just re-wets. That yellow really fought me. Mm -hmm. That's some um, Hansa good. yellow light. Mm -hmm. And so it goes really hard when you put it in your palette. Whereas this um, magenta, quinacridone so magenta, is fabulous. Hansa. Hansa yellow light, oh. that yellow. Yeah, it's a pure yellow. Yeah, I've been switching to that a bit lately. Okay, now I'm ready. I got my slightly bigger um, spray bottle. You could just cover it with water if you wanted to with a big brush. Doesn't matter how you get it on. Oh, that's all the paint that I flicked, <laughs> flicked on. But I'm gonna cover it quite generously. And I'm going to leave it pretty much flat when it dries because depending on how overboard I've gone here. But I'm thinking about um, how I want these textures to occur. So um, I think I love the S. I'm just going to go for the S. So S like that. Put my colours on in a lovely, thanks Lynn, S fashion. You can put it on in any way you like and they, they are going to move a fair bit. And then this beautiful turquoise. My flower will end up around there. So that's good. Perhaps I won't put any blue there, anything dark there. This yellow I know will lift nicely. I'm generally doing a lovely S. You can do any letter you like, and I mean that quite literally. I like the idea of letters in um, designs. I think a few of you have had great success with the Y mm. as a design. And then I don't need to wash it. I don't care that that pink's going to go in there. And where I've got, I'll knock back that pink. I think that was too much pink in that one. So I'll knock that pink right back. I don't mind an excess of um, turquoise. And that yellow will just get covered with every other color will dominate yellow. It's a lovely big mop brush and it's just dipping, mm. dripping down to the end. It's running out. I can add more paint in a moment, but I do find it, it's weird what happens. So if you're gonna place the flower there, so stalk comes up and the flower's there, then I'm going to sprinkle it in that arc that's around it. And I think what's quite beautiful about this is that there is a space there and a space there. So it's one mm. semicircle, one semicircle, plus this extra little beautiful bit there that may or may not have been a mistake. We don't know. I put a spoon into the urea, given that it is fertiliser, and you may not want to put it on your fingers. I have no idea whether you... For all I know, it's as safe as salt. And then I put some rice in as well, maybe around here, just for enjoyment and what will happen. You cannot see the salt, but it doesn't mean that that's not going to do something shortly. If I leave this really big drip, mm -hmm. I'll get an enormous back run. And do I want a back run there? If it had been kind of there, that might have been all right, but I think I need to control some of the pattern. Yeah, because if you tip, everything's going to yeah. move off it, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, so I'm going to tip quite carefully so that I preserve bits I like. Did you tip this one? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, yeah. And then I left it on a, a gentle, gentle angle to reduce the number of um, <coughs> back runs. I just find back runs just never sit where you want them to sit. I could have dipped <coughs> the tissue straight mm. into the wet area, mm. but I always find it leaves a mark, mm. the tissue, and I, I'm not doing clouds that I might want that kind of mark. Get rid of it, yeah, that's right. It's just never the same, is it? Nope. <laughs> so well, I, there's nothing else that you can use to sock up water. That's <coughs> like, like a tissue, but <coughs> yeah, you could use a brush. I've seen like a, a YouTube where a water. lady she got one ply. You know the really thick toilet paper you get in the mm -hmm. public toilets, really thin stuff. Yeah. Oh. She <laughs> just gets <laughs> and lays it, <coughs> and she just puts. Four or four ah. strips, just lays it down, to a bit of a pat, and then lifts it all off. Yeah. And I thought, what a good idea. Yeah, I've seen that, actually, yeah. You I've seen some... Go to the get the table. Buy the one chipster. It's one ply. Yeah. It's one ply. Yeah, it's not... She we'll did read about you with a new... Being arrested for stealing toilet. She's to paint. It's one ply. So I might put a bit more salt on because I cannot see anything. Oh, see, I think, no, and I think I just it put is, it in. There's no granulating here, sort of. I think that's my paint doing oh, that. Oh, okay. I think that's the blue. Oh, yeah. So I think I'll do a little more. I've got cheap salt in there. Yeah, that's oh, right. Oh, what's the truth? It's granulating on. Yeah. I think what else I'll do while it's at this lovely stage is think about my flower. And perhaps rather than having to scrub later, I will use the tissue. If it comes in, will I do it the exact same as her or will I come this way? I think I'll change it. I'll have it come in like that. And you the other way. Yeah, I know. I know, I totally <laughs> didn't think that through, did I? Uh, that will be the head. So that part there that's lovely and white. Mm. I think they masked it. Now I'm looking oh, at it closely. Yeah. yeah, look at it under there. Sharp edge. Yeah. Oh, that's nice and soft. I'll just do it one more time to... You could mask it before you actually start. Yeah, yeah, and you could. There. In a circle. Mm. Yeah, yeah, so that you know where you're going and where you're you going to... Um... Yes. So it's very wet there. Will I not worry now? Quick, go and get some toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, think I think it's very wet. I think it's very wet. Yeah, the other things are. Um, I'm just going to come back to it while I help you guys for a little while and see if it uh, wants a little more salt. But please start by helping yourself. I'm going to get out a, a whole stack of little containers that I've um, brought, been collecting all over the years, so that you can take a bit and a bit and a bit of anything you would like. I used this pink, uh, and I didn't like how it dominated, so that's why in this one I put the pink down. Were you here for that part? Right, so I put the pink down and then I dropped the um, ultramarine into it to knock the pink back, whereas this yeah. was pink and yellow and green. Whereas I've only got a little bit of turquoise, and I think this combo looks a bit better than that one. Also, look how incredibly light this is. Yeah, and then the last thing that I did, and you can barely see it there, so I'll just do it again. Did you see me do that bit? So we're working on that. Yeah, exactly. So I chose a spot to lift out that, just for that, because I think the um, artist used masking fluid because I can see a hard line over there and there. Okay. But you, and you could use masking fluid too, of course. But I like to decide later exactly where it's going to go. So that's why I'm just using a soft tissue for a soft line. Yeah, so this is, um, these are shellac flakes. And they did do a little bit of something, but not much. I was just playing to see what they did. Where did you get you? Uh, from Bunnings. Bunnings. Okay. Yeah, and I've got masses of it in case you feel like you'd like to take oh, some I'm and you could use it. I've got like a bucket. It's about... So that's why I'm always playing with it. What else can I do with this jar of shellac? <laughs> <laughs>